guys, today I'm going to do my December favourites video and I hope you all had a really lovely relaxing Christmas. It was actually quite easy to gather my favourites for this month because there has been a group of products that I've just been using all month and absolutely loving. So I'm just going to get started and dig into my little box of products here. So first of all let's start with nails and there's two nail polishes I have been loving and they're pretty much the same colour. The first one is Essie Soulmate and it's like a really dark purple burgundy and I absolutely love wearing this during the winter and a slightly cheaper alternative actually is this cheaper? I don't even know anymore because Essie is now quite affordable but Revlon Vixen is also a lovely shade they're very similar, I've just been kind of swapping between the two all month and it looks really nice with gold glitter accent nail as well so those two have been definite favourites for me this month. I've also been reunited with my love, the Ojon Rare Blend Moisture Rich Cleansing Conditioner. It took me a while to find this, not all Ojon counters have it, but I think the Boots ones do, and that's where I found it. It's basically a cleansing conditioner, so you can use it alone, but I like to use shampoo as well because I wait quite long in between washing my hair. But it's moisturising and cleansing at the same time, so your hair feels like really like clarified afterwards and all the grease is gone, but it still feels really nourished and moisturised. And I just don't know what it is, I love this conditioner. My hair always feels great when I use it. So I've nearly finished this bottle and I only got it recently. Another one for the shower is from Rituals and this product is insane. I was telling my mum about it and my dad and they didn't really believe me until they used it and now they're completely addicted as well. It's from the Herman range, Herm wait, Herman. I always say Herman. And I've actually had a hammam, or done a hammam, when I was in uh, Morocco. It's like a traditional ritual treatment thing where you cover yourself in mud. This is their purifying body scrub. And there's also a shower paste to go with it, but I actually prefer using the body scrub. And it's got this incredible eucalyptus scent. This is so strong. When I use this in the shower, especially if I have like a blocked nose or a cold, it completely clears my sinuses. It fills the entire bathroom with the strongest, fresh scent. It's it's really hard to explain but it smells incredible and it's really good if you have any kind of cold or you're feeling a little bit rubbish, you need a little bit of a kind of body detox. This is amazing, I've also nearly finished this, I've been using it every time I get in the shower. For scent, I have a little bit of a strange one, it's from Jo Malone, it's one of their 30ml scents, but it's Blackberry and Bay, which is definitely more of a summer scent. When this first came out last year, I loved the idea of it, I loved the whole marketing campaign and the images. But I just didn't think it was quite me, I thought it was a little bit too sweet. My sister loves it. For some reason, like a year later, I've really got into it. I really like this, it's such a strong scent, so when you spray it on, you can actually smell it on yourself all day. Because most perfumes, I feel like the scent just disappears and then you can't smell it, even though other people can, but that's not really the point of a perfume. There's just something very clean and nostalgic about the scent of this. I really do like the blackberry scent of it and this is just, it's a really interesting one. I definitely recommend giving it a spritz if you're near a Joe Malone counter. Um, I've just become a little bit addicted to it this month. Lip wise, I have two products I've been loving this month. This one's an obvious one because I talk about it all the time and use it in videos all the time. It's from Charlotte Tilbury and it's Love Liberty, which is from her Matte Revolution range. These matte lipsticks are the best I have ever tried. I'm not going to talk about them too much because they may be appearing in my 2014 favourites. But Love Liberty is just a shade I would never normally pick up when I'm at the counter. It's like a dark berry and it's just beautiful. Every time I wear it, I get compliments on it. it it's really long lasting once it's on the lips. I like to use a lip brush to apply the outline and then fill it in with the square bullet that's very easy to use. Um, this has just become one of my favourite products from all year, seriously amazing lipstick. The second one's from Bourjois and I've been wearing this a lot during my Vlogmas vlogs. It's their Rouge Edition Velvet in Hot Pepper and I also love Pink Pong as well. These, I don't even know how to describe these, they're like, they're supposed to be like a matte lipstick but I think it's a bit like a lip lacquer, lip jelly, it feels very gentle, soft and lightweight on the lips but it's got that sort of matte long lasting formula. It's so easy to apply. So tiny and good to keep in your handbag. Um, and I just love this shade with a little grey beanie and very kind of pale skin. I think it looks really pretty. This month I've majorly got back into my Emma Hardy cleansing balm. I've been using a few different cleansers this month kind of on and off, but this one I love using in the evening. This was a new pot actually that I started and I'm already kind of a third of the way through it. I just use like a pea size amount every night and it takes off all my makeup, including my eye makeup. It's a balm that turns into an oil. It's very 
rich and nourishing, it makes my skin feel amazing. I feel like on lazy nights, you don't even really need to moisturize if you don't have time because this is so like moisturizing. It just makes my skin feel great and it's one of those cleansers I will always recommend and always go back to. Okay, one last beauty product before I go on to a few random favorites and this is the Burberry Foundation. Again, this isn't gonna be a surprise. I use it in all my vlogs and tutorials. It's the Fresh Glow Foundation that I use the shade 26 Beige. I, I mean, I don't think I've ever finished a foundation before, but this one is starting to feel very light. I've been using this every day. I'm now starting to use the NARS Sheer Glow a bit more towards the end of the month, just to kind of switch up a bit. But I was using this throughout the whole of like the second half of November and December. It's just a beautiful foundation. It's glowy, it's easy to apply, it looks really natural on the skin, but also makes your skin look great. I'm not sure if this is out yet, because I've been getting loads of tweets from people saying they can't find it, but I think the Burberry shop in Covent Garden has it. So if you are in London, maybe look there but it's an amazing foundation, definitely worth the ridiculous price tag. So let's talk about random favorites, and I did promise you guys I'd show you my scrapbook in my vlogs, so that will be at the end of this video, but first of all, I wanna to talk to you about pasta. And if you watch my vlogs, you also might know that I've started to eat spelt pasta recently. I was getting really bad stomach cramps after eating normal pasta, and it's one of my favorite meals, so I was getting really annoyed. I thought I'd give spelt pasta a go. This is um, just a random brand called Biona any spelt pasta will do and it's just changed my life seriously it cooks so much quicker it's quite easy to overcook so you do have to be careful but it just doesn't give me that cramp after this. I don't feel full and horrible I just feel normal after eating it so I am completely converted and I eat spelt pasta at home all the time now I love it I've also been loving my grey H&M beanie hat I got this I picked it up for pretty cheap I think and I've just been wearing it throughout the winter and loving it. I love grey, it's one of my favourite shades to wear and I just think this is a really cute easy beanie to wear and again if you've been watching my vlogs you'll know how much I love this hat. So finally my scrapbook, here it is. I thought I would talk you through my scrapbook a little bit and show you some of the pages. My new year's resolution last year was to start a scrapbook for the whole year and I've succeeded. I can't believe it's the end of the year already. I started um, January the 1st and yeah, I've pretty much finished the scrapbook. I've never done anything like scrapbooking before, but I guess I'm quite a creative person. I just wanted somewhere to put my photos because I take photos all the time and I was never printing them or anything like that. I've been using something called Project Life, which you can get from any kind of craft store. And the reason I like Project Life is because they have these clear binders that make it really easy to just slip your photos in. I didn't want anything that I was having to like cut and glue and stick too much because I knew I wouldn't do it. Some of the pages are more like creative than others. Some are just photos. At the beginning I was getting quite creative like sticking things on but I'm just so happy I did this. It has so many amazing memories in here. I've had such an incredible year and I love that I can just look through this and see all the amazing things that I've done. It's also great for taking photos of my family and nieces and nephews and it's really fun. I've like divided it by months and I'll show you a few of my favourite pages now. Okay, on the first page I have this photo of me and Rich, which is funny because I think, especially Rich looks a lot younger and that was only the beginning of the year. So as you can see, I went for the file that has like two big pictures, four little ones and two big ones here. And in the set, Project Life set, you can get little cards that fit this space. On this page, I've written a little thing about how I've signed up for a six week ice skating course. I've got pictures of me and Rich going to Covent Garden, me and Anna feeling, filming for Daily Mix and the videos that we filmed because I want to remember like work and stuff I've done as well and this is when we went to Home Slice. I've got really cute photos of the kids saying like, loves apples, 18 months. And this cute one of Bailey when he had his hair cut. This page was Valentine's Day, um, and this is the card that Rich bought me that said, happy Valentine's Day, I hope this card makes your high standards and will feature in your scrapbook. So I had to cut that up and put it in here. These are some of my favorite pages. This is when I went to Ghana with Comic Relief and Anna and had the most amazing experience. So I took some photos that I was really proud of and I wanted to put them in the scrapbook. And this is like a huge spread and loads of photos. Oh, I, l I love that one of me and Anna. Me, Anna and Lucy and all the kids that we met. And I printed off like a little map to put in there. And this is a big group photo of all of us. These are some photos of when we went away for Easter and like a photo of me and Rich. I'm not going to show you all the kind of family photos, but I like to take a lot. Um, so they're all in here. This is when we went to Brighton with Anna and Mark. Um, so I took some photos of Brighton and us on the pier us on the beach and that's one of me anna and mark me and anna are at our space and k meet up and me and anna in M malta there are a lot of photos of me and anna in here honey's second birthday i also have the picture of mine and anna's big 
Liliana picnic meetup. Um, that was like a really good memory from last year, this year. This is when Rich and Mark did their London to Paris bike ride and we did a huge Paris meetup with you guys. This is when I met James Taylor, who's my lifelong idol with my sisters, literally best day of the year. And this is my trip to New York with Gemma and we met up with Keisha. These are some of my photos from New York. There was an amazing sunset. So sometimes I put things like this in it just to make it a bit arty. And these are some photos from my birthday. I haven't quite finished yet, so at this point of filming, this is where I've got up to. But as you can see, this is what the pages look like. So you can just slot the photos in there and it's really, really easy to use. So I hope you guys enjoyed seeing what my December favourites have been. And as I said, I've got a big 2014 favourites video coming up. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.